Anyways, for this match here, we're seeing uh, Ridley versus Bylas. This is a matchup I've personally never seen, but from what I've heard, these players have both played each other a good amount. What a, a battlefield for game one. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if this was Jagorio's pick or what happened with that. Well, we see Sylvie keep going on her incredible losers run right now, going all the way from losers round two. Or will Jagorio take it and have his rematch against Oath? So far, only 16% on Jagorio, but as I say that, a couple hits coming off. But I don't know. I don't see this matchup being too great for uh, Ridley. Uh, Byleth has got the aerials to fight Ridley extremely well. The Nair, I imagine, is not easy for them to deal with. But uh, that possible edge trapping situation. Stuck towards the corner right now. What's the option? Tries to down air. Misses. Sylvia resetting neutral. Trying to get that sneaky side B. Might have killed. Back on ledge again. Can they get back? Those Byleth aerials are just so hard to deal with. It's like, you know, you might be out of the corner technically. But my aerial is like, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm like, trapping you from center stage pretty much. It was 119 so far on Sylvie. And still not going to kill. 134 on Sylvie, but she will take the stock just like that. <clears throat> As I say that, Sylvie will drop another stock. Dragorio with pretty much an entire stock lead so far. Still not out of it yet though, Sylvie play Ridley, a character that can do some crazy damage in a few hits. These two are definitely no uh, foreign players to each other. They run into each other every week. They know each other's tricks. It's a complete mental game now. Do you know the uh, set count between them? or? Um, I don't know the exact set count, actually. Uh, if I had to guess, Sylvie's going to be... Oh, and he just hits that F smash so perfectly in the middle of side B, but not killing yet. Oh my Ooh, lord! Fair. Almost got it. Uh, if Sylvie had DI'd out, this would be a, a GG and a handshake. Look at the movement from. Uh, it's almost. Uh, it's almost unnecessary how much he's moving. <laughs> Bile has got some movement. Oh look at that! The, nice tomahawk the off stage. Tomahawk. Trying to catch um, that recovery with up B. The spike. I, I think MK, uh, I think Dragoria needs to look out for fair, that. Fair. Nice, very good fair. Um, we might have to watch some adaptation from Dragorio because I think, I don't think the uh, up B off stage he's so used to is worth it in this matchup when he can get easily nared and taken out, so. Interesting. Yeah, I believe so far Sylvie is in the lead with a 2-1 set count over Jagorio, so if he wins this, it'll be pretty much even. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, pay attention to the match. Alright. At it. So, um, like I said, I think I think if Sylvie can adjust her mindset to win neutral for the sake of ledge control and edge guarding i think this is very doable but right now it seems almost as if sometimes she gives up the stage control mm -hmm. and in a care in a position where your character wants to abuse the other's recovery that's not what you want to be doing definitely, definitely see look at, i think she's a bit timid at the edge these are free nares off the ledge to to mm -hmm. get it's a dash um, attack exactly Oh, and the raw oh. up smash, barely not taking he's, it. He's Punish? Oh, and he did it. He he's did so it. so good at that. Just you let Trump into up B. Uh, so good against characters like Ridley. I, <laughs> I, I, I want to know, who is this player's tag? Because I, I don't know who this Oreo is. This is not the Oreo I remember. This Oreo. Is, this is a different caliber of player. He's playing extremely well today. Well, you know, this is the funny thing is uh, we wanted to pitch in to get him a switch because the first... First couple nice weeks, switch. yeah, for the first things of Smash practice, he didn't even own the game. He just came and played with us really? when, when practice days, so maybe once a week he played with us. 
Um, but now he's got a switch, and you know for a fact he's playing it every day. Yeah. You know for a fact. He used to just go and watch videos and then say, I'll try it tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know that feeling. And, yeah, I think that's the thing is uh, people get in that, uh, uh, that mode where they're hungry for it. And he was certainly hungry to play the game, and now he's eaten. Sylvie showing up definitely with the the good edge the good ledge Pretty plan. Um, I don't think fireball is the move for most of these. Oh, almost got that up smash read, but just a little late. I think I look like I didn't update it. I mean, still being oh. keeping relatively even so far, really it's pretty heavy. 71%, oh, I mean, pretty much any move off stage. Right. Possibly take the stock pilot here. Nair barely missing across stage now. Tegorio yeah. on the edge guard situation. Definitely a okay. big character, definitely hard to fall out of these combos though. So, and Ooh, another one. Hitting. Oh my lord. Here Maybe just staying, staying off ledge a little too long. Uh, knowing that Oreo's going for this, so. He's doing extremely well at mixing his options up, going for those tomahawks, and pretty much it's looking perfect every time. Like, yeah, the, the, looks like he's a mind reader. The spacing and the patience, and oh, just going right underneath it, not hesitating to burn a jump or anything. Incredible patience. That will be that. There go, though. even stocks. Only 33% on Sylvie. Yeah. And more Sylvie, than doable. Sylvie showing that. Uh, the Wasa West sweeper. Uh, well, you know you can you can sweep the high school students, but can you sweep Dragorio from NTC to college? Oh, and how many snatch? things are we gonna see today? Not gonna take it. I think S Sylvie has this habit to land on stage too much with the side B. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of new players do fall for that grab. Yeah. But too, he's too patient. He's too wise to that right now. Uh, that's definitely not happening. Great spot dodge. Okay, I'll this could be now. it. 80%. This could be the edge guard opportunity. That Hits him with the fireball. Oh, barely living. Tries okay. to F smash. Yeah, back air off stage again. See it? What's the ledge trap? No, up smash. Oh. <laughs> and the back air will take it. He is two steps ahead of finding out. He is two steps ahead. Sylvie's going to have to make some... Huge adjustments for game three if she wants to take the yep. set. Dragorio's on fire right now. Nothing can stop him. There's it's like he wants that run back against Oath and the run back against Itihan. Yeah, he's he is absolutely hungry to show and represent his team at his tournament today. Uh, he is the only NTC player in, yeah, left. So um, it is up to, you know, NTC's new star player. Once on the practice team, not anymore. <laughs> But Sylvie is going to see what we can do about that. It's interesting that she's let. Like, is this like a stage for Ridley? Because I don't know about you, but I would be banning Battlefield right oh, away against Bioleth. Yeah, I would ban, ban Battlefield against Bioleth as well. Oh my um, god, almost catching him with the up B again. Oof. Did get the uh, did get the tech chase there with the no tech uh, F smash. Good extra damage there. Um, and yeah, these, uh, you know. Maybe rolling and neutral get up, get uping is maybe not the perfect option here, especially when your character has you know more jumps than the average of the cast. So I think we need to see adaptation at the ledge, especially. I think that's where Sylvie's losing the most points here is at the ledge. Okay, yeah, bread and butter and combos into oh, down air, down air, almost taking it. And I believe that's only in. true if they di in, yeah. Yeah, so. di in, you get by the down air, you di out, you get hit by the. Back here. Yeah. Lose lose pretty much. I think uh oh and th there there <laughs> it is again. Going for it again. Yeah, so and I confident think that's the right thing now. Is, uh, yeah, these uh Sylvie needs to be more disciplined at ledge when he's recovering as well as be more disciplined at ledge when she's recovering. So I think it's all it comes down to this ledge play so far. Oh Ooh, the double parry into F smash. Jeez. Still living yeah. though. Dash tech. Oh, and you know he wanted the fall off there. Yeah. Definitely not supposed to be a dash tech. Top platform now. Can you get down? He's turned this set into a Metafy lesson. <laughs> okay, the fireball okay, turned seeing, his own yep, out. We're seeing more patient adaptations from Sylvie. 
not necessarily smothering him on the ledge. That's even stocks. If Silly can uh, have the... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> How did that not hit? I don't know. I was, like, right between his see, eyeballs. This is what I, See, this is where I think it's lacking is this confidence to edge guard him. You had the fair knowing he burned a jump. You should just instantly nair there because he can't do anything about it except for an air dodge. Hey, and like, you can react to that as well. A lot of people are just scared to punish the Bilef yeah. stage because if you make one mistake exactly. and the up he hits you, you're losing the stock for it. I think, yeah, that's that's where this whole matchup is kind of crumbling apart is you would think Ridley would win Axel? this matchup initially stage. because of the edge guarding, but there's no edge guarding to be seen here. Surprised he didn't go for a drop down there. Anyways, 147, pretty much... Any of Violet's aerials would take it. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, you kind of, he, he parried them last time with the F smash. He might do it again, and he does. This is the dash grab. Okay. <laughs> Tries to go for a raw yeah. F smash. Interesting play. The did mix up the timing a little bit. Did quit the uh, rapid jab a little earlier than usual, so maybe the timing threw him. Yep. Bread and butter is now. Look at all. Ugh. You wanted it. Sylvie DI is out. That's that. Fair off stage now. Oreo playing like he's got dinner in five. He cannot stick around. He needs to go right now. Will he. S oh, Ooh, Lord. Mix up. F smash trying to catch the jump. Does not get it. These empty hops Just are so stage. threatening, especially from Violet, who could, yep, throw out that Nair or that Fair or Baron in a you know, nope. couple frames. So. Two plays are well stage. If I have to make a prediction, I think the game will end by Sylvie trying to do a side B <laughs> and uh, Oreo punishing it. Yeah, I can see that. That is probably the, you know, like I said, the, been the crux of the game, sort of. Oh, oh barely missing. I can't dodge. believe I missed. And I'm not trying to sound biased, but he's he's very much outplaying these, yeah. these ledge traps, which, you know, in other situations would be all but guaranteed. And there's that yeah. side B, but he did not punish it. Still 144 though, as really you're yeah. a huge target. And, and he still had the invincibility. The we'll take it. Gorio 3 0 over Sylvie. And we'll get the run back yeah. against Oath. Oreo, uh, uh, kind of being the savior of Wasa West today, avenging them, <laughs> even though he has no connection to them whatsoever. <laughs> but Sylvie, absolutely no slouch today. I mean, 3 0, or 3? Yeah, 3 0. Oh. oh. 3-1 against all of Wasa West. Uh, so, yeah, kind of swept in her own way. And uh, not...